Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to discuss about a joining in a SQL. Joining is a very much important interview question and also it is a very much important from a work perspective. So you should know the joining concept. So in this video we will first understand what is joining and after that we will discuss about what are the types of joining we have and then we will move for the practical parts. So what is joining? So joining generally we use to combine two or more table based on a common column for taking example suppose you have a two table or you can take an example of a multiple table suppose this is my table 2 and this is my table 3 this is the two table I have now my requirement is like I want to get few columns from this table few columns from this table and I need few columns from this table I need few columns from this table. So in this case what I have to do, I have to combine these two tables then only I can get few columns from this table, few columns from this table. So in this case what actually we use, we use a joining concept. We use a joining concept. Now if you have to combine these two tables, there should be a common identifier. There should be a common identifier or common column in this two table. If suppose here we have a department id and here also we have a department id in this table also we have a department id means there should be a some common identifier or common column should be there then only we can perform a joining so that is the thing we have to remember so what is joining joining generally we use to combine two or more table based on a common column now we have a different types of a joining one is the inner join second is the left join third is the right join fourth is the full outer joint let's discuss one by one now let's discuss about the inner joint so whenever we will perform a inner joint it will return only the matching rows from a both the table let's take one example suppose I have two table this is a employee table and this is a department table now what actually I want few column I want from this table you can see the name employee ID department ID and the salary this I want from this table and also I need the department name detail that is available in a second table so if we had to get the few column from this table and few column from another table we use a joining concept now the second thing we should have a common identifier so you can see here also we have a department id here also we have a department id means based on the department id based on the common column we can do a joining concept now joining is clear right now we are performing a inner join so what actually you have to remember whenever you will perform a inner join in this case what will happen you will get only the common rows which is present in the both the table so we are performing joining based on the department id right so you have to see these two department id so whatever will be the common in between the two table that records only you will get so you can see the first is first the department id is one it is present here department id means this record we will get we will get this record and what is the department and human resource so this record we will get now this blob, this uh, department id2 is present in to this table also right. This is also present means I will get the this record also. Now in this table you can see for Charlie we have a department id5. But department id5 is not present into this table. So in this case what will happen we will not get any record. For David department id4 it is present into this table or not it is not present into this table. So whenever you will perform an inner join, in this case what will happen, whatever will be the matching rows between the two tables that records only you will get. So you can see 1, 2 is present here, 1, 2 is present here. So only these two records I will get. So whenever you will perform an inner join, only the common records between the two tables you will get. That is the thing you have to remember. Now let's move to the left join. In the case of the left join, what will happen? it will return all rows from the left table and the matching rows from the right table by the name itself the left to join means it will give you the all the rows from a left table and the matching rows from the right table what does it mean let's take with example so suppose i have this two table now i have to perform a left join i have this two table one is the employee table one is the department table and this is the output i want based on the department id i will join now when i will perform a left join in this case what will happen i will get all those record from the left table so this is my first table right first table means left table this is my second table right second table means right table 
Now when I will perform a left join, I will get all those records from a left table. Means these are the records we have in the this table, right? So I'll get all those records. Now only the matching records I will get from this table. So what I want from the second table, I want only the department name. So you can see department ID 1, what is the department name? Human resource. What is department ID? It is also present in the second table, that is a finance. Department ID 5, department ID 5 is present only here, it is not present here. So in this case, department name, name will be the null. Department ID 4, it is not present here, in this case what will happen? In this case also I will get the null value. So what generally happens? In the case of the left gen, you will get all those records from the left table but whatever the matching records is available in the right table, that records only you will get, other values will become a null. So that is the thing you have to remember. So that is a left join. Now third is the right join. So by the name itself right join you can see, it will return all the rows from a right table and the matching rows from a left table. Now let's do a right join and let's understand in the case of the right join what will happen. So this is the output I want. So in the case of the right join, what will happen? You will get all those records from the right table. So this is the department name, right? So I will get all those records from this table. Now only the matching records you will get from the lab table. So ID 1, this is present here, means this record I will get. You can see ID Bob ID 2, this is present here and this is present here, these records I will get. Now for ID 3, this uh, department name is uh, IT, right? When we will perform a, a right join, uh, this is not present in the lab table. So in this case, what will happen? This value will become a null. This will become a null. So, always remember, whenever you will perform a right join, all the records you will get from the right table and only the matching records which is common between the two tables that you will get from the left table. Now let's understand about the full join. In the case of the full join, what will happen? Full join, it will return all the row where there is a match in either table with null or non-matching rows. So in the case of the a full join, what will happen? In the case of the full join, whenever you will perform full join, what will happen? In the case of the full join, we will get all the records from a both the table. For taking example, this is my left table, so this record, all the records I will get. This is my right table, right? So, this records also we will get. Let's see how. So, whenever we will perform a full join, first it will check whether a department ID 1, this department ID 1 is present here or not, yeah, it is present. So, this records I will get, human resource. Now, the second is like department ID 2, whether it is present here or not, Yes, it is present. So, this all these records also I will get. Finance. This is department ID 5, it is present here or not? It is not present. So, in this case, what will happen? I will get the null records. This department ID 4 is present in both the table? No, it is not present. So, I will get the null. And also, this department name IT, right? This is only present in the right table. So, this also will get and this value will become a null. Null. This also will become null, null. So in this case, what is happening? We are getting all the records from both the table and only the matching records, uh, whatever we have, for that we will get the value, otherwise other value will become a null. So you can say this all the value was present in the first table and only the matching rows is this two. So the, for this we got a value and this become a null. This uh, department name IT was present only in the third, second table, but it was not there into the lab table. So this all the value became null. Now let's see about how actually we can write a query. So writing a query is a very much simple. So I have these two table. One is the employee table, another is the department table. So first table is my employee table, second is the department table. What is the common column between the two table? This department ID is common between the two table. Based on that we will do a joining. So let's see how actually we can perform a inner join query. So it's very simple, what you have to write, you have to write select star from first table name. What is my first table name? This employees is my first table name. Now after that, which particular join you have to perform? I have to perform an inner join. So I will write inner join. What is uh, second table name? Department. Department is the second table name, so I will write departments. Now after that, you have to join based on the common column, right? So what you have to write? First you have to write on and after that, 
what is the column based on that you want to join in employees table i have a department id so what i will mention employees table employees dot department id equal to the from a department table we have a department id so i'll write department departments dot department id so what i am writing select star from the table one i want to join with the second table that is a department table now after that i have to write on based on which particular column i want to join so in a employees table i have a department id and the departments table i have a department id based on that i want to join now when i am performing a inner join in this case what will happen only the common records common rows which will present in the both the table that only will get so you can see department id is present here here also i we have so in this case this record will get department id 2 is here department id 2 is here so that record also will get department id 4 is here but it is not here so this record we will not get department id 5 it is here but it is not here so that record also will not get now if i'll execute this so only department id spelling mistake departments now if i'll execute so you can see now only these two record this was present one and two is present into the left table and one two is present in the right table also so only the common records only i am getting and for their department id and the department name so whenever you will perform an inner join only the common records only you will get now let's see how actually we can perform a left join whenever you will perform a left join in this case what will happen all the records you will get from the left table and only the matching records you will get from the right table so writing a query is very simple select star from employees you have to perform left join so you have to write left join what is the second table name departments that is my second table name based on which particular column you want to join in employees table i have a department id column and also in a department table i have a department id column department id so it is similar to the inner join instead of the inner i am just writing a left join so it should be a left join now if you'll execute so in this case what will happen you see we will get all those records from the left table and only the matching records will get from the right table other values will become a null so that is a left join now if you have to perform a right join in this case what will happen the similar query instead of the left what you have to write right join in the case of the right join what will happen all the records you will get from the right table only the matching records from the left table you will get if i'll execute you can see all the records i am getting from the right table only the matching records from the left table i am getting if you have to perform a full join so what you have to write instead of the left join you have to just write the full join now if i'll execute this in this case what will happen i'll get all those records whatever is matching will get the value other values will become a null so you can see 3 and it this was present in the right table but it was not present into the left table so that value will become a null so i hope you got the idea 